In this chapter, we are gonna add more elements and effect to make our animation look more professional. So let's get started. First, select your shape layer, hit you on the keyboard to hide the properties. Now, right click on the timeline, go to new and select the solid. Here, we're gonna name this to BG, which stands for background. You can name it anything. You can name it your pet name. So right here, we're gonna select mid comp size and leave the color the way it is at the moment. Hit OK. Now let's go to the effects and presets, then type in ramp. So select the gradient ramp right here and drag it to the solid layer. Select the first color and make it somewhat blue right here and select the dark side of that. Then select the down and select a neon blue again somewhere right there. Let's make more adjustments to our gradient ramp. On the ramp shape right here, change linear to radial ramp. And then click the swap color button right here to swap the colors like this. Then with your gradient ramp effect selected, now set this to about 25% so that we can see the ramp color handles. Move the star color position to about center point right here. Now on the ramp scatter, make it 500. On the timeline right here, move your solid layer below the shape layer. So now let's bring our shape to the center. Select your shape layer and hit P on the keyboard. We are going to adjust this so that it will look a bit centralized right there. So at this point, let's add another repeater. Then expand the repeater to make copies 15. Then expand the transform repeater to change the X position value to zero and scale to 50. Move your time indicator back to zero frame and set a keyframe for the rotation. And then move the time indicator to two seconds forward in time and then make the rotation zero by 45. And if you preview this, this is what we're gonna have. Beautiful. We are going to add more effect to this. Select your shape layer, go to effect, go to stylize, go to stylize right here and then add a glow. So let's make some adjustment to the glow effect. Set a glow radius to 30 and glow intensity to 3. On the glow colors, make sure you select original colors. So if you play this back now, this is what you have. So that is it guys. Uh, in the next chapter, I'm gonna take a look at one functionality that I have reserved for the last for a reason, which is the anchor point of the repeater transformation.